Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere. Whoa! A bit too bright and shiny, Sally. What's your fancy? Have you got my bird feeder? Ah, uh, no, not quite. Check back in a little while. Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. That's a bit out of fashion. Mind if I look around? Cheery bye!
You're looking fine today. Righto. Bloody revolvers. I've got a sunshine somewhere, haven't I? Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Well, she's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later, when she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. Odd. Those peepers weren't there before. Why are they trying to keep people out?
Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What... What happened to your... eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. That's me. Answered your letters and questions about our life. And today's first letter is from Rupert Shrivener of 12 Spanker Lane. What's your fancy today? What can I do you for today? Better luck next time. Well, you can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I'd better be particularly careful in there. If he when knows I'm there, you, he'll get nose. nasty fast. Did you think I...
Satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. Now I see what the boys like about fighting. Some...
This must be the bag Harry wanted. Quite a sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe. Some source of oxygen and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Rathome via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. 
It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio. That is nasty. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. Yes, I have. I had large dog last summer for a series of my reign. I grew. how smart you are. You have to make them feel smart if you want them to like you. But they're also dull. They can't see past the river. Every man, even the most boring, has something fascinating in him. You just have to winkle it out of him. And... I'd rather live in a hut in the woods on roots and berries. Oh, I don't know what becomes of a girl like you. I swear to God I don't.
Someone needs a new nappy. so tired you could cry too. Did you know that? Why don't you close your lovely eyes? The girl needs her beauty sleep. Wouldn't you like to have some lovely dreams? Mummy could really use some lovely dreams. They really could. I've forgotten how bright Joy is. I think I'll skip the scene again this time. Oh, my nose needs a bath.
I won't let anyone take my little girls away. How do you plan to manage that? You mustn't lie to them. I'm not. I said, how do you plan... Lovely weather. I half expect to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat watching me from one of these trees. How? Oh. Where do I get the key card to this?
You'd never believe the day Mummy's had. I was sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. Mm. A lab partner knows. Formula A317. Subject is a downer from the village. Retrieved from the garden district's September 12, 1964. Test negative for plague. But we don't matter. Just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to stop us with a plague! Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. Stop, Dr. Verloc! Tommy King's milk 
after I killed fucking Ted Chip and he was a bloody dead mushroom farm by dawn. Everybody knows we have to do something. This is something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get... to give up some possessions or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. Abide and not in her house. What's this key card doing here? I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets. I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my hand off. Full canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out.
Now I can come back from any other hatch without anyone ruining my clothes. <laughs>